Howdy. Today I have a very small but very important project that I've been meaning to do for some time. There's a couple big tasks that I'll be working on throughout the month and one of those is going to involve a lot of forming plastic with uh, melting tools. Something I've done on the channel before in small scales and from my experience it spits out a lot of nasty fumes. So to not subject myself to any more brain damage than I've probably already caused, I need to build a fume extraction system. My plan is to have some sort of vent that I can move around and place on the workbench that'll direct all the airflow out this window right here. I don't exactly know how I'm going to do it yet, but I think I can get this done with only scrap parts that I already have. The most important part of this is going to be obviously a fan. I have somewhere right here a Noctua PC cooler. I don't know if this is a case fan or a CPU radiator, but that looks pretty beefy. I feel like that can move some air. How many volts is it? Input power 2.5 watts at 12 volts. Since it's a pretty standard 12 volts, I could just do the same thing I did for my mobile injection molder fume extraction setup, where I just wired it straight into a Milwaukee 12 volt battery. But the use case for this, it might be running for longer periods of time, and I don't want to have to worry about swapping batteries. So I'm going to check out my box of old power supplies and see if I have anything applicable. I'm just gonna trust that I've organized these well enough that I don't need any of them still. Wow, the first one I grabbed, 12 volts, three amps. Amps equals watts divided by volts, okay. I'm writing that on my workbench because I always forget. Lovely. So if this power supply is 12 volts at three amps, that makes it 36 watts. Again, the fan needs 2.5 watts, so that's a bit too much. Five volts at two amps. Ooh, this might be there. 12 volts, 500 milliamps, which is half an amp. This has like double the current that we need, but I think it's fine to go over. It'll only draw as much as it needs. So we'll go with this. So on this fan, I don't think this radiator is gonna do me any good. We're not using this to cool anything, just for fume extraction. And maybe I can use this other little adapter that came with it to make a plug. I don't know what's what, but I'm gonna guess black is negative and yellow is positive. I got this fan for free from my buddy Lai. He needed a DC motor to fix his film developer and I hoard all kinds of random stuff. So he just gave me some old things he had and I gave him the very torquey windshield wiper motor out of my Hyundai. Let's just test it with a 12 volt battery. It's spinning. I think I was right about the pins then. Now let's try it with the power supply, I guess. Okay, I have this box of random connectors that Lai also gave me. Um, and maybe these are actually the same as the one they are. So I don't even have to wire anything to this wall plug. I can just screw those two wires straight into that and we should be golden. All right, here goes nothing. And there went nothing. Oh, wait, what? Why did it just turn on? I plugged it in and it took like 10 seconds to fire up. I should wire in a on off switch later, but for now I'm just gonna start mounting things. I guess when I was ideating this project, I was picturing like a whole framed up thing in the window there. But now that I'm actually thinking about it, I believe this could be as simple as just sticking a piece of plywood in there and then cutting a hole for the fan and stuff. There is a piece of plywood right there. Oh, this is actually another piece from the set of John's movie. We built like a whole spaceship interior set and this was a drawer in there. So let's see, how well does this fit already? If I push it right up to the screen, it slots in pretty good. And actually, I can still close it with that in there. I'm having ideas. The ideas are hitting. Let's go to the scrap wood dungeon. Um, I'm actually not down here for scrap wood, at least not yet. I believe the vent that I used for the injection molder is in here. Projector lamps. Clock. Here we are. That mess is the other fume extractor. Just gonna take the old fan out of this one. I'll still use this system on the injection molder itself, but uh, the vent is excessively long, so I can steal some of this. I only really need that much. Lovely. Ironically, the use case I'm building this exhaust system for is the same way I'm gonna put it together, which is melting plastic. I'm just gonna try to fit the fan in by cutting the hole a bit wider here. 
I decided to cut out a pretty significant portion of the original 3D print because I wanted the fan to end up flush with the mounting holes on the sides. Then I melted the case of the fan to the 3D print so it's all structurally fused. It's definitely overkill, but I enjoy this process of kind of plastic welding, and I get to use scraps from 3D printing as a filler material. It's ugly, but it's sturdy. As for connecting and disconnecting this duct from the window, I wanted to try out something different, so I melted a bunch of magnets into it. I'm not confident those will hold the weight, but we'll see. Next up, I need a hole in the plywood for the exhaust to come out of. Unfortunately, I don't have a 3.5 inch drill bit and my jigsaw is broken, so I just absolutely violated this piece of plywood with a 3 8 Somebody give me a plumber's license. Then I drilled the holes to set the magnets in the window end. Now I know these are hilariously small magnets for this application, but this thing is pretty light and shouldn't have much force on it. I did end up deciding to put a little piece underneath because I just knew it would annoy me if it did fall down. To make sure the orientation stays the same, I just spray painted the top with some green. And there we go, I have a really ugly quick release vent. The window insert was a bit taller than it needed to be, so I chopped a few inches off the top. This way it doesn't block my view of the outside quite as much. And then the vent links up and the whole thing locks down with the window. At first I was skeptical that single fan would do much for airflow at all, but in my initial test for targeted applications like using a soldering iron here, it actually seemed to be doing a pretty good job at getting rid of the fumes. Hell yeah! Now, would this setup pass any sort of OSHA regulations? Hell no, but it's absolutely better than nothing. Um, I still have to add something to the end here and wire in a switch, but we got the basic function down and I'm happy that I have it. We're only pulling two and a half amps so I can use a very light duty switch. I guess, I mean, at this point I could just unplug it and replug it instead of using a switch, but a switch is cooler. I need the fume extractor to solder my fume extractor. Let's just make sure it works. And it does. And then at the end of the tube, I really don't need anything special, just something to add weight so it actually stays wherever I put it. And what better for that than a piece of scrap wood? That's a little pathetic, but I can upgrade later. So anyway, if you build something like this yourself, probably use a bigger fan. When I'm really cooking in here, I just open all the windows all the way, stick a box fan in the window, and that does a pretty good job. Part of the use case for this is having an option that doesn't disrupt my audio while I'm recording. Not necessarily a full-time thing, but an option in the toolkit. And if I want some extra juice, I can just slap one of the server fans from the injection molder onto it, and it'll do way more fume extraction. What up? Keep that voice when we're on. It's your birthday, bitch. Is it midnight? It's midnight. It's, it's his birthday. It's my birthday. Okay, to wrap this up so I can go to bed. This will be very nice to have for some projects I have coming up. Should be really nice for stuff I can point it directly at, like soldering and melting plastic. And maybe I'll upgrade it in one of these videos later this month if I want to use it for some bigger applications. In any case, stay safe out there. Keep your lungs healthy. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for your time.